Kobwa is very dangerous. I want to call upon the government of Kenya to address this issue. When you see this Mahamoto people, this Askar is here, whom you are seeing are quick. that the government is running including the housing program in Baringo we do not want any other public participation other than a discussion about peace in Baringo yes, yes. there is no development that will happen in Baringo yes. there is no road that we can use right. because we are short yes. there is no house we can live even if you build them the first initiative that the government of his excellency dr. William Ruto whom we voted to the man yes. in the election is to bring peace in Baringo yes. After peace, we now can discuss about other developments, yes. be it housing and whatever the thing. I want to ask and I want to plead to our president. Yes. Baringo County, I included, we voted you for only one reason. Yes. Yes. To give us peace, yes. to give us security, yes. for guns to be silent. Yes. Yes. And I want to ask you with humility, uh, your excellency, president. You say that when I, when I take that pipe <coughs> and put it down, the guns will be silent. Yes. 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 We are still waiting, Your Excellency, the guns to be silent. Yes. We cannot allow criminals to be roaming in, in the valley, killing people mercilessly. Yes. Yet, the sovereignty of this country is to protect human life and property. Yes. But now, the human life is not protected <coughs> and the property is not protected. Yes. Yes. We have very many people who are displaced. Yes. What is going to happen to, to, to these children? What is going to happen to these widows? What will happen to the people of Baringo? We are losing it, uh, Your Excellency. We've lost the fathers, yes. we've lost the mothers, yes. we've lost the children, yes. we've lost the teachers, yes. and we've lost the quite a number of people. They should be compensated. Yes. This is our plea to the government of Kenya. Is that people of Baringo are killed because of bullets. Yes. These people are full of bullets and guns. Yes. If this government is serious, they should disarm every human being who is carrying a weapon, who is carrying a gun. They should be disarmed because there is no disarmament in Baringo. 
from what we've seen, it is no longer banditry. Actually, it is terrorism. So we want to ask the president to really come forward and fight th this thing once and, and for all. Because as Baringo residents, as teachers of Baringo, we are tired, we are tired of crying. We no longer want to cry about our people being killed every day, mercilessly. It's like we, have, we no longer have rights to live. So as, uh, as a woman from Baringo, I'm urging the president, kindly, Mr. President, take action. Let us have peace once and for all. 